I bet 99% of people have no idea what parts are inside the front end assembly. That's because everything is hidden behind the front bumper. So do you know what goes into it? Today we're walking you through the full front end assembly process. First, they grab the front end frame and place it on a fixture. Then they add two radiator support pads, one on each side. Next, a team of two mounts the bottom radiator shield to the frame. After that, they install the air guides on both sides and tighten the clamps. A technician places the front crash bar on the alignment pins and locks down both ends. Then the hood latch and cable go on. The cable is threaded through the frame and the latch harness is passed through the other side. Clamps up top get tightened. Now they place the latch support on the fixture. Two bolts go into the top mounting holes and two more at the bottom. Then they scan the configuration sheet's barcode, upload it to the system and set the sheet on the frame. Next up, they grab an electronic wrench and tighten four bolts on both sides of the crash bar. The torque data is instantly sent to the company database and saved for 15 years. Then they secure the top two latch bolts. Swap out the wrench head and the bottom two get tightened too. That electronic wrench from Atlas costs as much as a brand new Jetta. Crazy, right? Then they mount the outside temperature sensor and its bracket to the frame. After unlocking all clamps, two techs lift the whole frame and move it to a hoist. Once on, they lock the side clamps to hold it down. They now install the pedestrian safety beam and the bumper bracket. The bracket gets bolted above the crash bar and the beam is inserted into a guide hole and riveted into place. A power torque wrench is used to lock the bumper bracket to the frame. Next, they grab ceiling foam and press the left side piece onto the frame. The latch cable gets clipped in too. Then the right side foam goes on. Now it's time for the radiator. Set it on a bench, snap on the condenser and install two side supports. The whole unit then drops into the frame, lining up with the pads they installed earlier. Then they grab another radiator, place it on the bench, snap on a fan, and install both onto the other side of the frame. After that, they scan another barcode and enter the info into the system. Now they grab some bolts the collision sensor and wire harness clips. The sensor gets mounted to the frame. The harness clips go on the latch cable. Then they snap the wires into guide holes and tighten the sensor bolts with the electronic wrench. And that's it. The front end assembly is done. Next stop, mating it to the car. Two techs guide it into place using a lift. After scanning the config barcode again, the frame gets aligned and attached to the body. Each bolt is threaded in three turns by hand. Then, both sides are tightened down using Atlas electronic wrenches. Once that's done, they back the lift out. They grab six bolts for the crash bar, three on each side, and pre-tighten them with a powered torque wrench. Now here's a question. Is the crash bar made to protect people or just car parts? And is thicker always better? After that, they scan the body barcode upload the data and use a wireless electronic wrench to fully tighten all six crash bar bolts. Now for the AC system. The high and low pressure lines are connected to the condenser. The water outlet from the intercooler is also hooked up. The electronic wrench tightens the AC line fittings. The coolant temperature sensor plug is connected to the engine water pipe. That pipe gets hooked to the radiator's outlet. Then they plug in the cooling fan harness. Last step, the engine's outlet pipe and intercooler outlet both get connected to the radiator's inlet. And that's it. The front end is fully assembled and installed. Got all that? Follow for more car builds next time.